Hi, I'm Dave, and I'm a procrastinator. I don't normally open with that. I usually put it off till later. Other procrastinators? I get it. You'll raise your hand later. I know. Also, as she said, made my living as a stand-up comic. And when people hear that, uh, the thing they ask me most often is, do you remember your first joke? Yes. And today, I am here to tell you the story of that first joke. And it is a cautionary tale about procrastination. But before I do, I want to thank Sonoma County TEDx for uh, putting this all together. And mostly for... Um, well, this program was supposed to actually be in January, and I appreciate that they postponed my talk on procrastination. It did not go unnoticed. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I, you know, I, I got to be honest with you. The, the whole idea of writing a joke, I didn't know I had written a joke. A, a thought popped into my head one night, and I just actually, I, I didn't keep a journal or a diary, but it had to be documented. It was so important, so profound, that I had to put it down on paper. Why do hot dogs come in packages of 10 and hot dog buns come in packages of 8? Who's got my buns? I know. A couple weeks later, I'm watching The Tonight Show, and uh, comedian David Brenner walks out to center stage, looks right into the camera, right into my eyes at home, and says, why do hot dogs come in packages of 10 and hot dog buns come in packages of 8? Where the heck are my two buns? And I sat there stunned, because there's this famous comedian on national TV, and he's stealing my material. I didn't even know I had material at that point, but I know I had thought of that before I heard him say it. And that's when I decided, that's what I'm going to be when I grow up. I'm not going to be a police officer or a, a firefighter or a cowboy. I'm going to be a stand-up comic. My parents were thrilled. <laughs> but now I'm carrying notebooks around with me constantly and jotting things down. Things like, uh, my mom goes to the hairdresser every Saturday to get a permanent. Every Saturday? Come on, mom, that's a temporary... I'm writing, but I'm not getting on stage. I'm not getting anywhere near the stage. So I decide acting school. Acting school is where I can get on stage and still procrastinate. So I go, and, and I'm there. And, you know, what I learn in five years of acting class is how to act like a stand-up comic, not be one. You can only learn that on stage. So I had to change things around a little bit, and I, I decided I'll start studying stand-up comics. Procrastinating. I'll start going to comedy clubs a couple times a week. Procrastinating. Going to the amateur nights. I'm getting closer, but still not on stage. And finally, it's been almost eight years since I wrote that hot dog joke. And I have to try this. I have to try. And then I get that voice in my head. You know the voice. Mine sounded like Yoda. Do or do not. There is no try. Okay, so I have to do this. So I prepare all week. I go down to the club. I sign my name on the list. And I don't get on. And the next week, the same thing. And the next week, and then ne three solid months of preparing all week, signing my name on the list, and not getting on. So I stopped preparing. That's when it happened. <laughs> my name is on the list. What am I going to do? Oh, my God. Uh, I don't know when I'm going on, but I know I am going on tonight. And then about an hour into the show, the, the list maker, let's call him Hutch, he walks by and he says, you're next. Kind of not like a friendly way either. Kind of like he wanted to fight me. It was like, I'm beating up this comic over here, and you're next. I sit down at the, uh, the bar there, and the MC sits right next to me, and he says, what do you want me to say about you? I'm like, I have no idea. I don't have any credits. I mean, I think the last time I was on stage, I was the badger in my sixth grade production of The Wind in the Willows, but, you know. He goes, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll think something up. Okay, great. So 
on stage, the guy on stage catches my attention because he is so bad. He is horrible, and now I'm focused on him, and I'm only listening to him, and he's forgotten his jokes at this point. And so what he does is he starts calling out to his girlfriend who's sitting back at the bar, Carla! She opens up his notebook and starts to read it to him, and he's like, I got it, I got it, I got it. And he finishes the joke, silence. Carla! I got it, I got it, I got it. Tumbleweeds are rolling through the club. Carla! It is so quiet, you can actually hear ice melting at the bar. Carla! And then finally he gets off stage, a little thank you, good night. And uh, the host goes up there and he says, our next comic is another first timer, totally lumping me in with Carla's boyfriend. Please welcome Dave Picorni. And I have absolutely no idea how I get on stage. My legs are like jello. I, I turn around and I look right into the spotlight and I blank. I, probably like two seconds, but in my mind, I can see calendar pages flipping and clocks are spinning like fans. And I reach forward and I grab the mic stand and I pull it close to me and I go, Carla! And, and the laugh starts really slowly, but I can see it rolling through the room, and it hits the back wall, and it crashes into my chest, and I was right. When I was 17, I was right. This is what I'm going to be. Just not tonight. <laughs> Folks, like the other guy, I've forgotten my jokes, and I don't have a girlfriend at the bar, so I'm just going to say goodnight. Thanks. And I walk off stage, and the, the uh, Hutch comes up, and he says, you did the right thing. Why don't you come back next week and, and I'll get you a better spot? And I do. And I keep coming back and coming back. And three years later, almost to the day, I quit my day job and go on the road for like 10 years. Folks, I, I'm going to be 61 in a couple of weeks. And I will tell you this, there is one big regret in my life. And it is those eight years that I wasted. I procrastinated. <laughs> Procrastinators. What would you do? Where would you be if you didn't waste that time? It's said that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Well, that's true. Well, the journey to the fridge to get another beer also begins the same way. <laughs> Just a shorter trip, that's all. <laughs> Procrastinators, this is your Yoda moment. Do or do not, I recommend do.